okay, nucleic hybridization, uh, hybridization technique is to identify the target gene or the gene of interest. Target gene or gene of interest. Uh, we have searched for the recombinant DNA. How to search for recombinant DNA is by screening methods. So screening method, you distinguish between non-recombinant and recombinant DNA by looking at the color of the colonies. So you extract the white colors colonies because the white colors contains a recombinant DNA. The blue color colonies um, contains a non-recombinant DNA. Okay, now, uh, when we search for the recombinant, uh, looking at the white colonies, so then we'll search for the gene of interest or target gene using this nucleic acid hybridization technique. So we'll take a look at this. It's, this is to identify the gene of interest or target gene. And the probe, that's important probe for nucleic acid hybridization is nucleic acid probe or genetic probe or can call it as the radioactive probe. Okay, this one. The red strand here actually represents the nucleic acid probe with a probe that fluoresces when it finds the matching sequence of the target gene when it fluoresces. So this uh, genetic probe or single-stranded, this is a single-stranded actually uh, RNA or DNA. Okay, the nucleic acid or genetic probe is single stranded. It will complement with the target gene. So hybridization will occur if there's a target gene or gene of interest. So having a sequence complementary to the target gene can hybridize or pair with target uh, DNA. <clears throat> okay. So we'll take a look at the methods of nucleic acid hybridization. So these are the colonies of plasmid containing bacteria each from clone from clone library, uh, each from a clone from clone library are grown on multi-well plates. So these are the multi-well plates that hold library called clones. These library clones actually um, consist of the recombinant DNA. But of course, from all the recombinant DNAs, uh, not all contains the target gene of a gene of interest. So that's why we have to search for gene of interest or target gene using the nucleic acid hybridization technique. So the replica of the plate, the replica of the plate is made by pressing this nylon uh, membrane. So when I have this nylon membrane press again this against this multi-well plates. So what happened? Some cells from the multi-well plates here will attach or adhere to the nylon membrane. So you're going to produce a replica or copies here. Okay, next. We have now the nylon membrane with the replica of the colonies from the multi-well plates. The next step is to wash this with the alkaline solution, the alkaline solution or sodium hydroxide solution. The main function of washing this with uh, sodium hydroxide or alkaline solution is to denature the DNA. Denature means to break open the DNA, make the double-stranded DNA into single strand of DNA. Why you have to make a single strand? So that it can complement to the uh, genetic probe or nucleic acid probe, okay? So this is to denature first, so to get one strand of DNA. So this uh, contains, the single stranded DNA contains a radioactively labeled or fluorescent labeled probe. And then hybridization take place. So this hybridization, this is a single stranded probe that fluoresces when it pairs up with a target gene or gene of interest. Uh, this one is a figure that shows hybridization, means that there's a complementary base pairing takes place there and the flor uh, it fluoresces. Okay, then the target gene is uh, it's matched with the target gene or the gene of interest. So only those colonies containing the gene will retain the probe and emit radioactivity on film placed over the filter. This is the film, this is the nylon membrane, and this is the location of DNA with the complementary sequence. So this is the location, the dots here. So this technique uh, is known as autoradiography techniques by using the film here. And then the last one, of course, you need to make a comparison so comparison with the original plate. So 
this is actually important to identify the colony that contains the gene of interest or the, or the target gene. So that's why comparison needs to be made. Okay, so here the comparison. Okay, this is the initial nylon membrane replica. And this is from the autoradiography technique film with the location of DNA with a complementary sequence. And then you need to compare it. And seems that the gene of interest is located here. This is the target gene or the gene of interest when you compare with the film from the autoradiography technique. 